I had never had a lipid panel done until roughly four weeks ago. And upon which my cholesterol was exceptionally high, right? Um, I don't know if that could be an input of maybe my body is hyper fat adapted at the moment and that could skew the results. I know a standard lipid test could be extremely misleading. Um, as a result of that, I was um, prescribed a 40 milligram statin, which I don't want to necessarily just accept. So my question would be, what do you think would be a, a valid course of action to maybe get to a better solution and understanding some of the nuance in my situation as opposed to just accepting a medical re recommendation, which I'm not necessarily even trying to oppose to be countercultural. I just want to get to the right answer. Totally, totally. No, and uh, we are working on some better resources to help folks navigate this whole story. Uh, I'm on the board of directors of a lipidology clinic in Reno, and like this is a, 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 a topic that comes up a lot. Folks will go from a standard American diet a uh, shift to kind of low carb, paleo, keto, they feel way better. They look way better. And then we look under the hood at their, their lipidology. And for some people it looks amazing. And then for other people, you're like, oh my God, that's a train wreck, you know? And the, the unpacking of that first, we really do need to get something called an LDLP, an LDL particle count. Did you get that performed as part of the lipid panel? I don't believe so. Okay. Um, I think I had the really standardized, you know, standard American healthcare version where um, I got my, I got a, a handful of statistics of, and amongst them was my triglycerides, my LDL, my HDL, but no nuance to okay. those. 